I thought I'd bring in some uh, eye candy here. Some eye candy. I thought it was a gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is cool. It's a uh, rifle put out by Rector from the 1840s. I like it, but I usually think of eye candy as a pretty girl. <laughs> I have a hunting rifle that was made by Rector. I'm a collector. I go out and I find antiques, and then I'll pass them on to somebody else to enjoy them. I would like 3,200 for the rifle. The least amount of money that I'm willing to take is probably $1,200. This is really neat. Where did you get this thing? I found it on the internet and did some research on it. OK. Rector made his claim to fame by making target rifles. He put out a total of about five of these hunting guns, and this is the very first one. OK. I'm not familiar with Rector, but he was a gunsmith, obviously, in Syracuse, New York. There was thousands and thousands of gun makers in the United States before the Civil War. Every small town had someone who made guns. Uh, yes, sir. I mean, most guns like this, the hardware was like English imports, French imports, because this looks really European right here. The whole reindeer thing, everything going on, and you can tell this is definitely by an American maker here because this is the skinny Federal Eagle. It was a lot skinnier before the Civil War, and then it sort of fattened up afterwards. Don't ask me why. <laughs> All right. It, it's interesting. I like it. This gun is really neat, but I've never heard of the gunsmith J.H. Rector. Early gunsmiths in America, some are collectible, some are not quite collectible. So before I put a value on this thing, I need to know more about the gun, and I need to know more about the gunsmith. How much you want for it? I'm going to ask 3200 for it. OK. I haven't heard of this Rector guy. So do you mind if I have someone look at it? I think that'd be great. OK. It is cool looking, though. Yep. Thank you. This is it. Yeah. OK. Yeah, look at that. J.H. Rector, Syracuse, New York. Guns made in America before the Civil War are popular for collectors. So one of the important things about Rector he was really well known for target rifles, which this is not. This is a hunting rifle. Yes. This actually would have been a higher quality over-under hunting rifle. The reason you want an over-under is it gives you two shots. So if you were actually trying to shoot something, you click the, that hammer back, pull the front trigger, and then this trigger works that side. So if you missed on the first one, or you wounded an animal and it was running away, you get a second shot. You wouldn't have to take the time to reload. I'd like to see if it's rifled. So these are actually fishing lures uh, for nighttime, but I use them as bore lights. So you drop them down, and then we can see if the barrels are rifled. And they are, but very, very shallow. So that means, basically, this gun was really well used. Look, it's a hunting rifle. So whoever had this probably shot a lot of game. You can tell this because the rifling, which is what we call shot out, and the finishes of the silver uh, mounts has been mostly rubbed away. So what do you think it's worth? I think a fair market value is $1,500 to $1,750. Some of his target rifles, where they're really heavy barreled and they're much more ornate, those can go for 3,500, maybe even 5,000. We've got a really nice example. This is a hunting rifle. It's an early Rector, so that's something. But as a gun in itself, and it's also very worn, that all detracts from the value. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Same here. Good luck. So at this point, what are you willing to take? I think 1200 would be a good price. I think 1000 would be better. You know what happens with old guns when you put them in a store? People walk up and go, that's cool, and then walk away. <laughs> it, it's neat, but I got to make some money on it, and I'll probably sit on it for a year. How about if we split the difference? 1100 What the hell, 1100 bucks? All right. OK, I'll meet you right over there, and we'll do some paperwork, OK? After hearing the expert, I believe that $1,100 was a fair price for both of us. There's a couple of antiques that I've had my eye on, so this will give me a chance to buy those and do some more research.